Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be doing something really special. I bought this piece uh, from one of those uh, pick apart places, $15. I'm getting ready to clean it up, uh, sand it off, and I'm gonna go ahead and prime it and paint it. The What I wanna get on this piece is that I'm gonna make it into like the contemporary look that the cars have now. My car is a 2003. What I wanna paint this is a glossy black a really nice glossy black. So that's the look that I'm going for. This is the piece that goes on top. Uh, this is where the radial is and whatever. I've sanded this whole thing down with a 400 grit using one of these soft uh, wet sponges. Areas like this, I'm gonna have to use one of these gray uh, scuff pads, or uh, gray scuff, uh, these gray things, whatever, with this product right here. This gives it a little bit more scuffing power. So areas like this and all these little crevices, you can go ahead and use the gray. The areas where you see black, that's where you can spray some of the plastic primer. Now depending on the quality that you get, this thing is really messed up here, right? It's not smooth like the rest of it. It's not smooth like this one right here. When it comes to something like this, you have to go ahead and sand this off. And these are really deep scratches. Ooh, look at that. That's that's crazy. And that, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You know, you got to look at all the little details on this before you even put any paint. I'm going to show you how to fix these areas right here. Things like this. Yeah, this is a big gouge. This thing is like protruding out. I didn't even notice that until you actually put the light on it. This thing has like uh, felt on it, as you see that. Let me take my fucking glove off. Okay, so you notice that there is that felt stuff on there. Now, to, to remove this stuff, you want to go ahead and use a heat gun. Because if you try to do this with your hand, with something, it's going to be a pain in the ass. With a heat gun, it, it makes the glue less tacky or workable. All right, let's get started in fixing these little things. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. But it's coming off, and that's what you want. Just gonna want to keep working it and working it until you get this felt thing off. Okay, so I took all the felt off. Okay, one thing I wanted to add is that I use this product for sticky things, like uh, removing the felt around this item. I'm gonna go ahead. And... It it has a flat area. This is a flat area, sort of. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and this is 320. So it's not too aggressive part. Alright. You want to repair that area, make it nice and flat. You can put your finger over it and make sure that there's no high spots. Okay, once you sand it everything down and it's ready for the product, go ahead and clean it with a clean rag. Uh, spray it with some alcohol on the areas where it's ready to receive product. I use these two and use one part of each. Mix it thoroughly and apply it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Started in different types of... This is how you get the, the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Mix it until you get a nice pasty gray like that. What you want to do is that you want to apply it so you'll have minimal sanding. All right, very good. Now you can see it. Okay. Okay. So see how I'm doing it? I scraped it in. I'm going to go ahead and scrape it out just like that. I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out. So far so good, right? Like I see little minor imperfections there. I'm going to go ahead and fill it. Other areas that need needs to be filled in. So when you primer this sucker, uh, the primer will do even a better job. And as a matter of fact, you can even sand it off. That's the great thing about this product here is that you can you can also use it like a putty. Let this stuff do all the work. When it dries, it's going to dry hard where you can sand it. 
this part. Okay. And that part is already good. As you can see, it's already been repaired. This is ready to be primered. Remember this? I also fixed this. And I also uh, wet sanded. Remember it was all tore up. Just a little bit of these little pieces right there, but I can go ahead and fill that now with uh, some putty. So this is the glazing putty right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some up, put some right here. So this is pretty much like a liquid primer. This with the actual primer. Whoops. As you can see, I had some already. And just mix it. Okay. See how it just, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna go put some on. All right, there it is. I put that uh, material on there. This thing is now smooth, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. It looks kind of weird, but when you prime it, it's going to have one color, which is gray. And then after that, you're going to put the base coat in the clear. All right, let's go do that. All right, guys, here, here it is. It's primed, right? Looks pretty good. Okay, so I laid down some primer sealer on both these pieces. Now you're wondering, why do they look different? Well, let me tell you. One of them, this part, I used an aerosol spray can, okay, from Rust-Oleum. On this one, I used the Uracame primer sealer. Now you would think, what well, is it going to affect the the paint job, the finish? Well, maybe not. So I finished the clearing and doing this painting, this piece. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Very minimal orange peel. I'm really excited about this. This is came out really nice. A couple of dust specks here and there, like right there. Also right here. The dust nibs, dust nibs. But overall it looks really good. I used this gun right here. Pretty cool gun, right? I also made a video about this gun. You can also check that out. As you can see my paint booth, uh, this is a garage. I did half of it. Okay. And I have that suck in the overspray. And I also have another one over here that sucks the overspray down here. I have the garage door open and the other door to ventilate this place. That way it doesn't, it's not all smelly. I do have some bad news though. Um, I realized something and I don't know how, this is the stupidest thing that has happened to me. I'm, I can't believe it. By accident, I mixed the reducer with my clear coat and I did one coat and I did all these pieces with one coat of it using um, <laughs> the reducer mix with this crap. So it's gonna be four to one, and I'm like, oh shit, and I realized I got the wrong bond. So I hope this thing doesn't turn into a gummy. Uh, that's gonna really mess me up. I don't know how this thing is gonna come out, to tell you the truth. I'm waiting for this thing to dry. Um, hopefully it dries. I'm, like, I'm feeling the areas where, you know, the overspray. And it looks like it's, it's kind of dry, so it's pretty good so far. <laughs> I'm going to cross my fingers and hoping that this thing will be okay. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you catch the next episode of my fuck-ups. <laughs>